Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be a fun idea to give you a plant update part two about the plants that I keep at Daniel's house. So if you didn't know, I live in the world's smallest house and I'm getting married in June, so I've started to transfer some of my plants over to where I'm going to be living, um, just so that they can adjust slowly instead of being shocked all at once. Maybe that will lessen the plant deaths or I don't know. But, so I have quite a few plants here and I'm just going to show you how they're doing. All of the plants that I got in California live in Daniel's house. And this is one of them. So this is my Hoya Abavada. And it has done extremely well. It's constantly putting out new growth. This is a new little piece. And then we have a stem traveling up to grow some more leaves. We have two leaves coming up here. It is so crazy to me the way that Hoyas grow. I have not had much experience with Hoyas, but these are so incredible and I completely understand, like after having this plant, I completely understand why people are so obsessed with them because it is just so beautiful and I really love this pot. I got this pot from a local nursery and I genuinely want to go back and get like 30 more because I think it's so beautiful. Up here I have put the Peperomia, I forgot what it's actually called, it's not the Silver Ripple, um, it has a long name I don't remember, but it is starting to get taller. So when I got it, if you remember, it was all one small little dome and these leaves are starting to grow up and get taller and I don't think it's because they're reaching for the light, but maybe it is. So let me know what you think, is this normal? because this is my first peperomia. All right, so this window is pretty backlit. This is the plant that I'm trying to save from root rot. It was doing super bad in soil and dropping even more leaves, so I have it in water now. I guess I should have done water to begin with. Someone suggested that, and I definitely agree. Um, but I just wanted to try and save it via soil, but I've learned that, that just did not happen. A lot of the leaves ended up looking like this. Like the yellowing, I'm probably gonna lose that leaf as well. But yeah, so it's a big mess and I'm hoping that I can fix it still. My begonia maculata is so happy. It is currently blooming in two places, I'll show you. One right here, and then the other one is right there. And it's also putting out new leaves on the top. So all around this plant is so happy. This east window gets a lot of light throughout the day. I just potted this Hoya compacta, and it seems pretty happy so far. It's only been like two days, but super, super happy. The white pieces are starting to wither a little bit, which I was just waiting to happen because the white leaves, like I said, don't stick around for very long, but she is so, so happy here. The next thing I wanted to update you guys on is my string of hearts. Everybody said that these plants grow really, really fast, and they were so right when they said that because it has grown an insane amount just in the last couple of weeks. I really haven't had it for that long, and it's already grown. Basically, it wasn't even spilling over past the pot, and now it is almost touching the toilet, so that's really cool. I haven't repotted it yet because I'm just waiting to find that perfect pot for it. I think I'll use a similar pot to the one I have my Avana in, because, oh my gosh, look at how beautiful and full she is. My plants up here in the shower window are really happy as well, but the plant that I'm most shocked about that is happy here, let me show you. This Maranta, I think, prayer plant, has put out an incredible amount of growth. This is a new leaf, this is a new leaf, that's a new leaf. All of these little leaves are new, and they're just, it's so happy in the shower. Obviously, there's some yellowing, but that is expected, I'm not like totally gutted by that, but I'm just so excited to see it putting out new growth and a lot of new growth at that. Like there's been six new leaves so far, so really, really cool. And also another plant growing like crazy is my Monstera adansonii. This little hub right here is just growing like crazy, I cannot believe it. And we have some leaves that are aging. Like I've said in the past, it doesn't bother me because there are new leaves coming in and the new leaves look really beautiful. Man, she's so pretty. I just, wow. Hmm. My big Monstera adansonii is growing two new leaves and I am just over the moon excited about it. This is one of them. 
it looks like it's going to get pretty big. The leaf that came before it is pretty big as well, and usually the next leaf is bigger. So that's super exciting. That started unfurling like a week ago. Like it started from the bottom here a week ago, and it's already to that point. And this happened after I repotted it, so I think that it was just needing some nutrients. And this is the other leaf that it's putting out, which is easily going to be the biggest leaf on the plant. The previous owner cut in half the leaf that came right before this one on the stem, as you can see here, and it just looks like it was gigantic. This is one of the leaves that is on the same stem, if you can see how massive that is. Like, comparison to my hand, it's huge. So I'm expecting this leaf to be massive as well, and it also has those beautiful rib fenestrations. I'm obsessed, like every moment, I come over here almost every day just to check on the plants. Like, I'm so excited to see this one unfurl. Okay, and the last plant that I wanted to update you guys on is my variegated syngonium. I've been getting a lot of questions about it and I wanted to show you. It has put out, this is a new leaf, this is a new leaf, this is a new leaf, this is a new leaf. Um, there's another leaf somewhere over there, but there's been at least five or six new leaves coming in. The old growth in the white spots especially is starting to do a little bit of this. If you can see withering away a little bit and then eventually the whole leaf will die. And to me that doesn't concern me at all. I know that the plant as a whole is super healthy and the white leaves will just die faster. Here's another one that's leaving us all too soon. But anyway, so this plant is so happy in this spot. It sits in this east window and just soaks up the sun all the time. Okay, that's all I have for this little plant update. I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions about the plants that I showed or you want to see other plants that I maybe didn't show, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!